We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. All righty. So that's our uh, uh, BS funny. BS funny was okay today. I liked it. It was it was cute. It was cute. Whatever. We're keeping it. <laughs> now I have this thing um, for. You know, I've gotten on this composting kick. Mm-hmm. Which is great. Yeah. I, I We've actually, reduced a lot of our waste. Totally reduced a lot of our waste. And I actually, we're going to do a video on, on, you know, the results of what I've been doing. I have two going. I have a tumbler, as you know, and I have the, the one that I made, the pen, the uh, trash bin with the yeah. holes drilled in it. And, uh, and I think I'm going to probably start a third one. But, you know, I think composting is dope. And me personally, I've always said, if flowers to pass, cremate me. Yeah. But then again, that's just because I only thought there were two options. I didn't know. Or I guess. I agree. Yes. Bury, for all cremate, or discard. That's, right. <laughs> that's the options you get normally, right? Yeah. I Even, didn't know that they were. I know. Well, now there's a third. There's a company that has emerged. Um, they started out, I believe, in Washington State. Um, and they have already started the process of composting human bodies. That's awesome. And what will happen... Sign me up. <laughs> Where's the application? Can you download it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so the, the <laughs> way that it works is, is that, in fact, they already have 25 that they've already done, and then they got like another uh, 50 that, you know, are in the process. And it takes a couple of weeks. And within two weeks, you get enough to where they can come and give it to you if you wanted to, like, give some out or use some or do whatever it is. And a couple of the people who have done it, that's exactly what they've done. They use some in their garden. They've given some out to loved ones. And then the rest, they would just donate to, like, um, you know, the places that plant trees. That's you know what I mean? great. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? I love this. Like, I, I'm telling you. Like, I'm serious. I'm as serious as a heart attack. Like, sign me up. I... I <laughs> That's what I want to do. And what they do is it's just general, in which, and being that I've been in compost and I can understand this, uh, it basically placed the, the, you know, the body with like wood chips and um, organic other, I'm assuming yeah, mostly organic material. microbes and, you know, yeah, and just other material, wood chips, straw. Right. And what's this, this word? Alfalfa? Uh, oh. Alfalfa? Yeah, alfalfa. Alfalfa. <laughs> yeah, alfalfa. <laughs> alfalfa, a a.k.a. alfalfa. <laughs> so anyway, they put put all that in there, which is what you see. and That's dope. And I guess this thing kind of acts almost like a, I don't know if it tumbles. <clears throat> that scene, that, I would think that would be a little, you know. I would think you would want to turn it. It's I would regular think composting. It, I would, it probably doesn't need to because the thing itself probably has way of, keeping the air and everything going. But let's say it does tumble. Ultimately, in the end, everything is pretty much broken down, including um, including teeth and bones. That's so, great. And you know, bone is hard. This human bone is hard to break down without it being burnt. Uh, not without micro. Uh, not with those natural uh, micro. That's dope. Because I guess I when, when, you just, when you just regularly bury something, I guess it probably doesn't have the air that's needed for all the positive bacteria to, to do what it needs to do. Right. You know, I love this. The only down part is that I can't be around to brag about it when I'm going through it, you know, but... You can brag about it before you go. Yes, and I will. Yeah, you set it up in there. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I plan to do. And frankly, and I'm, I'm going to recommend I haven't thought it. of this before. What? I'm surprised I haven't thought of this before. I know. You it's know. taken this long. <laughs> and we've been composting things for years. Uh, Decades, uh, hundreds of years. I would imagine composting's been around since uh, horticulture's been around. Yeah. You know, so. I'm going to do that. So, yeah, so that's. I love that. I'm going <laughs> to so do it. That's a good one, babe. Yeah, so good that's job, my. Good job, puppy. My quick or weird. Oh, I don't think it's neither one. I don't think it's quick. I mean, I don't think it's weird. You know, it is a quick conversation. Who wants to talk about getting buried or getting composted or getting cremated? But it should be a quick conversation then you go in and do some research and sign up for it and then you go and you do it you know what i mean mm -hmm. you go in and and if you don't because i would think that eventually there's only gonna be but so much space there's been so many cemeteries that have had to kind of like dig up remains and create more space that in itself doesn't make any sense i know that's if awful you, if you have to move me 
then why is it even that? Why am I buying this spot? Yeah. You know what I mean? Even my 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 eternal place of rest is is temporary. I know. It should be automatically be that when a person is buried, <laughs> it should organically start breaking down. I mean, it, it is kind of messed up that we have to dig up these these remains and and move them. What do you mean it should have to be? How how should it, it should be, be naturally that way? You know, it sucks that we have to look into an alternative and it's only come up now of human composting. I mean, I mean it should always have been worked up where you if you get buried, you naturally decompose into the ground. You know. Who should have worked that up? God? <laughs> like, I don't Whoever know. Whoever <laughs> came up with burying people. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, back in the day, somebody died, you put them in the ground, you keep it moving so you can walk over them. That's probably why they did it, just to get them over, away. But, you know, <clears throat> at this point, the, the point that I'm getting at is that, you know, at some point there has to be it's just, it's you know how do you, you come across a cemetery and they like, don't defile the cemetery. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was a cemetery there. There's this, that, and the other. And then you find all the time you have these like Native American burial grounds or these African burial grounds. Then you have these mass graves. And yeah. Just all this dumb shit. And that destroys the earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming at. It's like all these holes being dug up and all these things. And, and then you go into um, cremation. You know, how much sulfur and, and pollutants and pollutants and, that are you putting into the I know into the atmosphere so from a conservationist you know situation I think it's a great thing to do I think it is great it's awesome so yeah so sign me up man <laughs> me too <laughs> we gotta do it again we gotta do it again hey guys it's JMC here from TMC for JMC show Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and subscribe. down below. If not, we're going to kill you. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> we're not going to kill you. Love my baby. Love my baby.